Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Well, the police are announcing they're going to get taser drones to fly around zapping us. Told you that was coming 15 years ago. 10 years ago, whatever. I think it was more like 15. I said 10 earlier. Here's a new article up on Infowars.com. Michelle Obama has come out and said that you will not call women bossy or anyone bossy because that's their word because they're bossy. Violent, ugly, authoritarian face of mainstream feminism exposed yet again. The new hashtag, kill all men. Hashtag annoying, hashtag hag, hashtag control freak, hashtag authoritarian, hashtag eugenics. I'm going to retweet this and say hashtag uh, authoritarian, scoundrel, control freak, dirtbag witches. How about that? Twitter, feminist campaign to kill all men. And they, you can read it. I mean, this is a massive Twitter following uh, about how they want to have anarchy and kill all men. Hillary would agree. She probably, well, you know how Hillary is. I understand why these women want to kill all men. I don't think the men are being too attracted to them. And it's not that these women are even ugly, per se. It's just they have that twitly, disconnected hatred of male power. Instead of the love of male power, the love of female power. Oh, my goodness. I mean, any real man wants a really powerful woman. But any real woman wants a powerful man, don't you, Cupcake? All right, let's go ahead and talk to Jim in Connecticut. You're on the air. Go ahead. Alex, how you doing today? Jim, with me, I changed Connecticut out here, fighting the fluoridation of the public water supply. I just want to tell you and all you listeners that I have a senator. His name is uh, Joe Markley, getting ready to fight fluoridation again in the state of Connecticut. Today, uh, Connecticut was the first state in the union to make it a mandate. So we're going to hopefully get the first state in, in the union to repeal this mandate. So we're looking for all your support, all your members' support, and anybody in Connecticut to get a hold of Joe Markley or get a hold of WeAreStateAsia.org. Absolutely. Uh, countries are banning it. Major cities are banning it from Canada to the U.S. We are on the march. And once we remove one forced medication out of the water and the food, we can get them all out. And we are winning. We've already had them yes, uh, start banning it as a pesticide. We're doing a good job in this state. So I tried two years ago. I started uh, working locally with my aldermen. They don't want to listen to us. I kept moving up the branch, and I got to a senator. We have a lot of great guys in Connecticut up with the We Are Change group that are really doing some, uh, some good uh, fighting on the on the. At the Great job, brother. Got to give the other callers one minute. Kyle in Arizona, then Joe in Maine. Go ahead, Kyle. Alex, how are you, my friend? Good. Go ahead. All right, let's get right to it. So about the censorship on the Internet, I think obviously it's great how it worked out, and I don't want to waste time thanking you, but you did a great job for Mark. But I think the real solution is we've got to look at the problem. It seems like what's, what's starting to happen is they're kind of creating a, a, a mainstream media of the Internet. Like some of these sites are becoming sort of institutions and really becoming entrenched and connected with the establishment, YouTube, Google, Facebook. No, other people could sue YouTube or, or, do, or threaten suits or injunctions the way I have, and then you'd get contacts through lawyers. Uh, you have to resist because if we keep the bigger sites up, it defends the other sites. I try to defend all of it, and, and I'm against it. Well, I agree with you, but what I'm saying is, is these sites are getting so, so big and having so much influence. And all it takes is for them to be bought off, and then we have a real problem. Just no, like, no, I agree. It's bad to just have a YouTube or a Facebook. I agree. We should have alternatives, and we do. Yeah, I totally agree. And like that's why, and I'm going to take the responsibility on myself and push your listeners. But I think it would be smart for guys like you and Mark to maybe put. Yeah, we started PlanetInfoWars.com as a social network. It's there. Thank you. We're trying. Joe in Maine, you're on the air. Go ahead. Yeah, Alex, I, uh, I just want to. Uh, well, you, know. you know, guys, do you hear that? I, hold on, I gotta let him go. I'm sorry. I'm out of time. Listen, I, almost every caller from me, I can't hear. And everybody tells me it sounds good. But you guys are saying you heard that. I mean, it sounds like Cylon Raiders attack, Cylon Raiders attack. We have come from the planet Snickle Snort. We love Obama, our leader. We come from a jellyfish community as well of parasites and spineless worms. Obama.
All right, great job with the crew today. I'll be back tomorrow, Lord willing, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central. Nightly news tonight. I'll be co-hosting it with the crew. 7 o'clock Central, if you're watching this transmission or listening. You are the resistance. The Genesis Communications Network is one of America's premier broadcasters of captivating talk radio. We thank you for listening. Now, now just imagine. Let's model to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. We've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation.